I think. It could be a pin. There's probably better sixes than this. We're going to start it off that principle, but I'm going right. to keep. I'll keep. This hand's not insane, but it's pretty good. Okay. It's like pretty fast, which is what you want. Forest. Green. Grazer. Simic growth chamber. Bouncing my forest. Okay. Go ahead. I'm so scared of Grazer. That's a really good draw. That's probably the best draw on our deck for sure. You want to bolt him? Uh, shock myself. Sure. Andre. I'm not going to bolt him. I'll play a new Magus Elemental. Go. Something tells me the best draw on the deck was the ground rift, so now I'm sad. <laughs> uh, Untap draw. Nail on the head. <laughs> Something tells me that I might just be dead next turn. What can one do here? So let's make it easy. Start with the forest. Matt's heart. Um, don't think that that's necessarily worth. Grazer number two. Put in a ballot kit. Okay. Say go. So, if you didn't have these grazers, even though the ground rope is like insane, right? If you didn't have these grazers, um, I think you would be dead here on turn two. But that's sick. <laughs> it's the fact that I have to target these with the ground rope to actually get through. Yeah, and you I can't don't eat get them. to eat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we might just take one more setup turn because I don't think I'm super in danger here. Oh, I can ask that question for you. You're not. <laughs> Swift spear, just yeah, just like no amulet. I'm not like ridiculously scary. He's like definitely not, not definitely not. Yeah, pretty much definitely not playing Titan next turn. Uh, I'm a toddler. I kept a bad hand, probably. Like in a vacuum, it's like one of those hands is probably fine. But if you know you're playing against me and you're like possibly dead on turn three, it's maybe not the best hand. That's kind of where I was at. It's like I can't yeah. pretend to know what I'm playing against. Um. So, for max damage, well, we can just pass. There's no point in attacking. Right? Actually, I will attack. Attack for this. I mean, one minute. How bad can it be if you're attacking with just that guy? So sure. Yeah, I guess it was pretty free to attack with the other one too. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I was like, if you're just gonna attack with that, sure. Yeah. Just take the one. All right, the I will uh, dart you. All right, so take three. Yeah. So I do get another right. more chip damage this way, but I take one. I'm not right. Go. Here we go. Cringe. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Um, okay. What does one do in this spot? Does this matter? Nope. Probably not. You don't have one of those weird situations. I drew up a Sageo, so I was seeing, like... Like there wasn't one of these, one of these weird things where this was like some artifact or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, so like, like uh, you could do whatever and I pop it. Enchantment, enchantment creature or something. Yeah. Like yeah. Just something weird like that. Um, Kyle, this is matchup three. If you want to change it to matchup three. You put match it's just three. a notepad. You just open it. You just change it to three and control S. Easy peasy. Now it's a situation where it's like I have one land drop. If I had a Dryad, this would be sick, but don't. So it's land. And this is where I think I... Uh, so my question here, and idea here, is like, I can either pack, get a Dryad, make an extra blocker um, for this, or, which might not matter, or I wait a turn and then guarantee a prime time next turn, but prime time putting in two lands where Dryad can activate my Valakit. It's kind of where I'm at. So I think that's what I want to do. This could be wrong because this prime time's not really going to get me anywhere at this point, I think. Because it's possible I die. So I'm gonna pack up a dryad. Okay. 
And I'm going to pay three to play Dryad. Um, Kyle, can you update the life totals to 1717? Kind of a weird thing. If I didn't have Valakit, I'm obviously just waiting. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to do anything. Um, upper cut. No cuts. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just. I can't imagine there's a world where this matters, so I'm gonna just play the Besaju. Yeah. That's my other land, and I will say go. Alright, one tap. Uh, I think you're very dead. Ah, uh, it's possible. I don't think I need this land. Let's go ahead and mire. Do get a mountain. <laughs> can I can I rip the lyrics, Jordan? Yeah, on stream. <laughs> he Jordan, says, Jordan, still four dollars, dog. <laughs> Jordan's taking his lyrics out. Of the shadow list. list. We're just playing the mystical dispute. Oh, I got one in my ascendancy deck. Oh, put your gauntlet in, man. I don't matter. I, okay. Not like I'm gonna be able to buy a painting against right. this deck anyway. All right, let's pay attention, chat. This is gonna get crazy. <laughs> it's about to get wild. All right. Uh, bolt your face, because it doesn't matter. Great. Um, I guess, yeah, that's fine. All right. Pay two. Growth. Eat it. In response. Uh, Sproucher and Storm and all that. So, two Storm. I guess I can just, yeah. Pay two. Gush out your face. Eat it in response. Sprouse. Storm. Sax Mountain, Lava Dirt, you eat it in response. Krauss, Storm. I am eating. And then Ground Rift. Uh, five copies of Ground Rift. And then eat the other two copies. So, five Prowse Triggers. These cannot block. Attack for. 11, 16, 17? Oh no. Looks like I'm dead. That's that's what it does, chat. That's what the deck does. <laughs> uh, so I'm just cutting two bolt because I don't care too much about... Um, he's not interacting with me too much, and so we really don't want to trim a whole lot. Um, but the Spreeze can help me against, like... You know, normally they board in engineered explosives and then construct tokens and of course hitting amulet is good. And I can just I can just replicate this like three times for three triggers if I want and just target one amulet. Um, right. That's pretty nice. So spree actually kind of helps me go fast too sometimes. I mean mine's pretty simple. Uh, play a ton of lands. One of the perks playing a ton of lands. Sometimes you get to trim on them and call those your cuts. Um, so I'm cutting a cavern because he's not playing counter magic. I could have cut another one, but I cut a copy of a sage you. Um, and then I cut a copy of explore. This is the random card. I didn't know if I was supposed to trim another land or if like that's just getting unreasonable because you want a ton of lands because how much like you have for two E's and a dismember. Dismember you kind of got to be careful with because again. I just get closer to losing to like just straight up burn. Right. Like chip, I just like chip damage and stuff. Uh, yeah, just random chip that I can't do if I don't have like a monkey, but I had to kill your Magus earlier or something mm -hmm. to block. But these are the three I'm cutting for two EDs and this member. Well, um, I have a saga, um, but that's not doing anything till turn three. Especially if it feels bad, if it's just like play saga pass and it's just like either alpine moon me or blow yeah it up. You, i feel like there should be three alpine moon in the sideboard of the stack but um so i kind of feel really bad and the only other thing i have in hand really is a prime time so i'm gonna ship it back yeah if there was like any ramp in there where i would have been able to be like forest play a grazer and then put the saga in and this is a super weird hand i could keep it because I mean, this might just be a keep. Um, like, Morphos, 
isn't the card you want with Nemagus. Like, you kind of right. got to draw the right spells with the right threats. So it's a little bit weird. I can just play these and cycle them away on turn two anyways. And, like, that's not bad. So, I don't know. I think I think I'll keep this. I know I should reveal it to Bricker, but... I mean... It's like, I have a threat. I've got spells. Even if they don't line up super well. I could also just go, like, Morphos, Morphos, and hit a Ground Rift. And, like, that's fine. Then I would have... I, you know, could do, like, a Storm of Four or something. What does my deck do against Deafening Silence? Um... Probably just get dumpstered, I don't know. Yeah, probably. But I probably just don't cast my spells that turn and try to do it next turn. But if I'm dead, I'm dead. You know? So I'm going to put this on the bottom. This hand's kind of weird. But it's good enough, I think. So bottom that. And then issue with the last hand is kind of an issue here, but not as bad. So I'm going to put... Do I play this, or do I play the other one first? I think I have to... Oh, wait, this is way worse. Oh, no, I messed up. Oh. Um. Snap. I'm going to just Saga Pass. Okay. That's a good draw. Advantage. Oh, no. Go. Yep. Draw. Upkeep. Two. So, we are going to... Does this matter? You play a castle. Okay. And I'm going to say go. Okay. Draw. That's also a pretty good draw. He gets an amulet next turn. But I don't... I just don't have, like, the only thing that would make me have a kill is if I draw a Salt Strobe. And that's just, like, not super likely. But we can, like, get pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good percentage on a turn three kill. And I don't, I don't know if we can hope for a lot better than that. So, um, let's play the Swift Spear. Sure. And attack. Uh, and... Um, I ain't got anything. That's all. Take two. Uh, seventeen or eighteen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eighteen. We good? Yep. All right. Untap. Draw. Cool. Three. Make a mana. Okay. Fetch. Ish. Let me guess. Amulet. My dead brick. Well, this is kind of where it, amulet. Close, I think, at this mm -hmm. point. Um, you're not dead. You're nowhere close to dead. Okay. If um, I'm not dead, you're dead. Cut. <laughs> huh? So if I'm not dead, I think you're dead. No, 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 no. I'm chilling. Okay. I'm scared then. Land. Maybe this land? Am I trolling? I'm trolling. No, I'm trolling if I do that. That's why I'm trolling. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're fine, we're fine. Everything's okay, I promise. I think. So, play lamp for turn. Untap it. Bounce this to my hand. Well, flip the mana. Three. Use a green. Play this EE. -E. Ooh, that's Use the really colorless good. and blue. Crack it. Yeah. Hence why that sucked. Right. But now that I have this green, I'm going to play a grazer. I'm going to put in the sim... Sun home. And I'm going to say go. Damn. That's nasty. Alright. So I was hoping I wasn't dead that turn. Metamorphos. Red, white. Sure. Okay. Play a land? Sure. Um, 
So I'll take the red mana and crack this. And use the white play Loom Mancer. Say go. On tap, draw. Huh. This is what an experience this is. Uh, cast and explore. Okay. Cool. Um, so I have an extra land drop this turn. Gemic growth chamber. Bounce this. Okay. Lay this. Pray I'm not that go. Hmm. Uh, let's see. All right. Metamorphos, Storm, Magecraft Trigger. I like the fact you said Storm. <laughs> <laughs> so you always gotta be scared when someone brings out the Storm counter. Um, I'll just make double red. Draw. Worst draw ever. Let's go, chat. That's what I'm talking about. Don't kill me. Don't kill me yeah, dead. You're at 18? I'm at 18. Okay, so... No, we don't even don't even really get there. We get like medium close. It's just you just have to wait if there's even a better turn to try to do something. Or if you just take it now. And get in for as much as you can while you have a magecraft creature. So I think that's just the route we're gonna take. Um, I made double red. Yeah. Mm hmm So, hold you. Trigger. All right, and then ground rift. So two copies. So four. Basically, you have five triggers for this. Because this one and two. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, just make this. Yeah. On a good block. Oh, uh, he dodged them. Good luck. <laughs> And then get in four ten. I'm at five. Three to five, and I'll play this fetch. Go. Yeah, like two card man. Yes. Yeah. Untap. Draw. That's sort of lame. Uh. Green. Ma uh, Magecraft triggers on cast or copy. Green. Different from prowess. Grazer. Play this. Bounce this. It still comes in tap, Satch. Uh, play this as my land for turn. Green. Play another one. Cool. So I need to draw a ground rope to ever get through. <laughs> and now I'm crying. I have to, oh, I had to bounce this, I think. I got a wall of other threes. I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I'm at five. I'm within hitting distance, I think. Yeah, I kind of have to go, like, maybe, like, Manamorph, I mean, yeah, Manamorphos, Manamorphos, uh, Ground Rips, I think, is the out. <laughs> I mean, Manamorphos, you want, seven? You got two already. The, the other two. No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, it's, it's not Prowess. Sorry if we say Prowess, because it's kind of similar. All right, I mean, that's not a terrible draw. Yeah, I call that one a W, I think. Go. This game's getting easier. Bolt Dart Dart? Where am I drawing all these cards, man? I don't... <laughs> yeah, do you want your Bolt Dart Dart? <laughs> Done? Bolt, okay. Bolt, Bolt Spike? No, I mean, those all kill him, but it's just... Off of one draw, like, Manamorphos, Manamorphos, Ground Rift would kill. Off of, like, if I just top deck that way. But... Axe Big Castle. Oh, no. Jam that. Okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> you don't want to play anymore? You, you can do do the do the. I mean, I can't do it. I don't have a amulet. Right. You don't have amulet. Yeah. Just do the demonstration, uh, or at least what you're gonna do. I mean, it is at this point with my hand. 
This game's hard to chat. Someone said boo, Primeval Titan, boo. <laughs> Oh, oh. That, that was the wrong link. My bad, guys. You can click that link too, though. Someone... I feel like I feel like I'm out here trying to die. Like I'm, t I'm losing. Uh, Maybe. Still. Hey, this can't block if I ground drift it. That it. That's what I'm saying. I'm dying <laughs> out here. I don't know if this is unreasonable to do. Um, hello. Where's the other land I want? I'm gonna close my eyes and pick, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna play a Radiant Fountain in this Selesnia Sanctuary. So I'm gonna gain two life. And I'm gonna bounce the Radiant Fountain in my hand. Pretty good. Uh, land for turn. Play a Radiant Fountain. That's pretty good. Good nine. Okay. All right, ground with me, dude. The, the out that I previously stated is still on the table. Um, unfortunately, that's not the out. Wait, I should be at 19. Could I bash? Uh, yeah, I think we're good to just pick them up, right? Uh, I have a dryad and a double striking land. Yeah, I think dryad alone is just. I'm gonna play dryad, swing, grab two valakids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along with Please. another prime time. That was no All right, I think on the play we bring these back in. Whoops! Take them out. I'm trimming the shattering. Oh, so you want to know? Wow. I will mulligan this. Sands cracked, but I don't have a threat. Yeah, so I have the opposite issue. Is His hand's really cool, but I like... I don't really have a whole lot going on to get it there. Mm. Like, I, it's just good. like... It's like... I mean, I'm just curious on the draw. Uh, well, it got a little bit cooler because it's like this Boros Garrison, and then it's like land to then another Titan, and I'm sad. Yeah. Amulet, that hand's nuts. Right. Uh, I find that with Amulet, you almost never preemptively play ED. You almost always play it and pop it in the same turn. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm like, is Shattering Spear really going to do much? Like, I can. That's why I wasn't too upset about how that went because I was able to pop it. I was just really upset that I had to crack my Amulet and pray I didn't die. Right. Because I would have been able to give, like, I would have been able to do the scenario where I got two lands and I would have been able to play my Dryad and potentially give that haste as well. Right. And got, like, got all I needed along with the Radiant Fountain to gain the life and do that plan still. I need my Radiant Fountain to dodge. Okay, both on malls to six. Um, sounds pretty good. Can't really mold this. Put one of these back. So I'm kind of in the same boat. I think that has to be the bottom. Okay. Ready? Yep. This beer hit for one. Go. Oh, well, that draws cracked. Draw the amulet. Definitely did not draw the amulet. What a crack. I'm going to go against everything that person just said. Play the E on one? Potentially. Yep. Also, that was my top deck. The hills? No, the E. Oh, one. yeah, yeah, I figured. Because as nuts as this hand could be, I don't really have a whole lot of like payoff scenario with it. I ain't trying to blow I play this, and I'm going to put a die on it to represent what it's on. And yep. just for clarity on why it's, like, weird, and I have to play it now, is, uh... Oh, shit. Can't really, can't really be putting these amulets in play and going, huh. Yeah. Hope I don't die here. Okay. Um, yeah. Attack you for one. Sure. Luckily, my hand plays around this E decent. Light scrap. Yeah, I'd call that a W. Go. Draw. Huh. Shuffle to this time like I've always wanted to. I think it's where I even have to be a little... 
Am I too upset? So, I could obviously lose this amulet here if I have to, but I feel like I want to play it. And the reason why is because if I draw something the next turn and I'm able to play amulet, my bounce land, it's very likely you die. Yeah. So it's kind of like that contrast of like I can play the amulet now, especially with you playing this. Because what it's the scenario you're like, metamorphose, free spell, maybe another free spell, like storm, right. and then yeah. give it double strike. Something like and that. then I'm just getting bombed by a ton. Yeah, I'm only down to three cards. But yeah, I mean it's unlikely that I'm just dead. Dead. I mean, I guess maybe I just let. No, I don't have to do that. I just play this and I say pass. Okay. I still get to jam the dryad if I have to pop this this turn because I'll be able to play both amulets with these and then play a bounce lane. Um. Yeah, it's a super awkward. Feel like that's gotta be decent for us. Tax. No blocks. No effects. No effects. One, two, three. I'm just gonna play this because this. Creature is just going to incidental anyways. It doesn't really do much either way. Sure. So if he pops it, it's fine. That's fine. Sorry. On your insta, I will pop it. Okay. Because again, i rather get those out of the way and then be able to play my amulets right. without worrying about blowing them up. Untap. Draw. Reasonable draw. I mean... I guess you could have something, but amulet number one. Yep. Um, oh no. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot going. Amulet number two. Yep. Uh, Simic, untap it twice. Or untap it twice, tap it twice, make four mana. Yeah. Green, whatever. Play this dryad. Yep. Play this Boros Garrison, bounce this forest. Untap this and say go. Okay. There's a, there's a draw on my deck. It's really good. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Definitely not that. Is it the one you cut? No, I didn't. No, not Shattering Spree. I mean, Shattering Spree would be good too, but. but... Alright, pop this canyon. Making things unblockable? Yeah, that would be pretty good. Or making it not be able to be blocked? Yeah. Bloodstained. Swiss beer. Yep. Attack. You have one mana and two cards. Yep. I think it's reasonable to just let this bot me. Maybe it's not. I don't really need the two land drops anymore because I have so much mana and like this can just protect me from whatever. But I lose my dryad. Kinda sucks. But block here. Okay. I'm going to I mean I guess I take my damage while I can get it. That's sort of the scenario that I was thinking is like Two so, meter genigris here. So it's seven, eight, no, nine. It's uh, plus four, plus four, because it gets two prowess triggers and two magecraft triggers. Yeah. So plus four, plus four, and then plus four, plus four from these. So, so it's nine. nine. Oh, okay. Sorry. You said seven, and that's the number. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, it's not seven. But, yeah, I said uh, seven, then I went eight, nine. Yeah, and then this goes yeah. up to four. Uh, yeah, so this will die. Um, and then, so, go to five. Good. I've been here before. Oh, shit's about to get wild, brother. So would you try the prime time? 
Uh, I'm gonna play the Colossus. It's Colossus. Oh my gosh. I wanna play a Cultivator Colossus <laughs> off the top. <laughs> okay, so four. Use it. Five, six, seven. All right. I'm gonna. I guess. I guess technically on that bounce, I should bounce this Boros Garrison. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce the Boros Garrison. Okay. I'm gonna fetch so I can press F6. Okay. Wait, why did someone say boil? And why did Kyle bring up boil? I, I'm i not talking to Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle threw his hands up. Alright, so I generally, to make this easier, a lot of times it's just like I'm going to play all three of these right now, but we can go one at a time. Somebody will complain. Well, whatever you want to do, man. Uh, Land. These all have two untaps. Land. Land. Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Land. Son of a bean dip. Uh, listen, brother. If there was a way to tell you that, you, that you're not in that much trouble, it's kind of that right there. Uh... It doesn't only give the haste or double strike. Ah, uh, double strike. So, yeah. if there was a world where you're okay, untap number one. I'm going to float it. Are, are you okay? <laughs> should have bounced Simic, dude. I punted. Mm -hmm. So, the reason I should have bounced Simic is because I guessed to the out of drawing this expedition map, going to get a T West, be able to cycle my Teleria West. Mm -hmm. Um,. And I've already made a land drop this turn, so I can't make another one, Sag. Mm. So, this, untap. Floats his mana. Uh, I guess. It's got five floating mana. Uh, untap it again. Uh, bounce. I guess the Simic land. Um, five mana floating. Use the red and the white, I guess. Doesn't really matter. I can use the green. I'm going to play an E on two. Yep. I'm going to crack the E on two. So this will be a green. Because I would use the colorless here in a green. I will play another amulet. Alright. And then expedition map. Yep. And just for clarity's sake, I'll just go ahead and there's nothing I'm really holding up. I'll just pop this now and go get a uh, Teleria West. Okay. And I'll say go. Okay. Um. If I would have cycle, if I had kept a Simic land in, you would have died, or put like one in my hand, I guess. Yeah. Which is sad. Attack. All right, you win. Okay. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's even, pretty. There's, you still don't even, it's not even lethal. It's only four yeah, because then it's, for this, it's draw. Oh, okay, I drew a summoner's pack, so go get a Titan. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you have West. Anyways. Yeah, so it's like, in this spot, it's Titan, grab another T West. I, like, I'm just packing over and over because I literally, every land drop is 6, 12 mana. Yeah. I'm just going, all right, sick. All right. Good game against Amulet. Amulet gets there 